you are feeling fired up and ready to go, this is your sample workout for Fire & Flow. I'm Jericho, and I've got you for the first 15 minutes. So today, you're gonna do a little taste of all three of our Fire formats. You're gonna need a good selection of challenging weights, a set of light, medium, and heavy. Have some water on standby, and make sure you also have your loops, because Elise is gonna put you to work with those after this workout finishes. All right, but first off, we gotta kickstart our hearts with a little warm up. Starting with a jog in three, two, and one. Let's do this. Run it out. Get the weight in your toes. Knees are soft. Core is strong. We're so happy that you're here today. And I got this incredible team Woo! behind me, your Fire and Flow team. They're gonna be with you for the next four weeks. So I wanna introduce you. Starting off with Kaylee. She's our modifier. She's gonna be keeping the energy up, taking away all the impact. Next up, we've got Tony and Kiana. Hey guys, they're gonna be following the intermediate level, so follow them if that's where you are. Last but certainly not least, we have Dominique. She's our intensifier. She's gonna be adding a little bit of fuel to the fire if you wanna add some heat, she's your girl. We're gonna get into a jumping jack raise in three, two, and one. Feet jump wide, arms sweep overhead, and then right out to the front. All right, bring a little heat into the legs and to the lungs. This program is really designed to meet you wherever you are. So take permission to choose whatever level you feel works for you, and make sure you're having fun doing it, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> awesome. We're very excited about our journal as well. It's there to keep you on track, hold you accountable, get you feeling your best as you work towards a new and improved you. All right, give me one more. Intro from the high plank in three, two and one. Hinging from the hips, core strong. Go ahead and walk the arms out. Stop in a nice strong high plank. Beautiful. Take your time. Again, do what feels best for you. If that means a little more knee bend, you go a little slower. Awesome. Really strong core, long straight spine, chin and eye gazes forward. Great job, everybody. Let's do one more. Now, I've got you for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays if you're following the calendar in this program. We're gonna kickstart the metabolism. Here we go. Outer legs, sweep in, hip openers. Kickstart the heart, get you sweaty, maximize your 30 minutes in this program. And to help you really just train smarter to not burn out. There you go. Well done. Couple more. Heart rate's coming up. Guys, we're getting ready to hit up our first block of work. Upper body fire is first. All right, so circuit style training, three strength moves with a fire finisher. Give me one more on each side. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, here's what we need for this. Full body workout focused on upper body right now. So you're gonna need to grab your heaviest set of dumbbells. Right now, I've got my 15s. We're gonna lie down on the ground for our hollow hold chest press. All right. So starting off, firm grip on the dumbbells. Make sure they're just outside the shoulders. Now straighten the legs up, core strong, anchor the head, shoulders and hips down. You're gonna lower your legs down to about 45 degrees and then perform your chest press from here. Okay, option with Kaylee, just keep both feet on the floor. Guys, are you ready to rock? We're ready. Here we go. Core strong, lower the legs, chest press in three, two, and one. We're gonna be here for about 40 seconds. So really take your time and maximize time under tension. Elbows drop wide, slow, and then squeeze your chest as you push the weights up. Now, if you notice, Dominique, she's got some heavier dumbbells in her hands, and she might even be dropping her legs a little bit lower, okay? So you wanna work a little harder, you know where to go. Beautiful. Strong wrists. That's it. Come on, keep pulling your belly button in. Squeeze your abs tight. Shoulders down away from the ears. Come on, five seconds left. Last one, make a big push. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bend your knees. Core strong as you roll up. Go ahead and place the weights down. We're gonna go into our medium set of weights. I've got some tins on my hands now. We've got a deadlift into a hammer curl press. Looks like this, heels under your hips to start. You're gonna shift your body weight into one leg. Hinging from the hip, long straight spine. Beautiful, we stop the weights about mid shin. Come on back up, ground your heels, hammer curl. Dumbbell stop in front of the shoulders and then a big press overhead, firm grip on the weights. 
Option with Kaylee, you can kickstand and go a little bit lighter. Are you guys ready? You're ready. Here we go. Shift the weight into your left leg. RDL in three, two, and one. Hinging from the hips, squeeze your abs to really help you with balance here. Now drive the heel through the floor, squeeze your glutes, and then curl to press. Awesome, we're gonna alternate legs, so this time we're gonna go into our right leg. Beautiful. Awesome. And if you wanna work a little harder here, add a balance challenge with Dominique. You can float all the way through with no tap in the middle. Boom. You're gonna see those a little bit later on in the program. Take your time. Really targeting through the posterior chain as well as the biceps and the shoulders. Maximizing calorie burn by really keeping the heart rate up, keeping you sweating. Thirsty for more, last one. Big curl press, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bend your knees, weights down. Pick up one single heavy dumbbell. Got my 15 here. We've got a lateral lunge with tricep press. Overhead press, here we go. Firm grip on the dumbbell. You're gonna step out to the right, lower the dumbbell back toward the base of the head. As you sink into the lateral lunge, core is strong, chest stays lifted. Now make sure it's floating off the back of the head. Beautiful. A little option here if you need to. Less range of motion in the lower body, lighter weight. Team, are we ready? Yeah. Here we go, lateral lunge to the right in three, two, and one. Hinging at the elbows, squeeze your elbows in tight toward the temples, and then a big press up overhead. Awesome, just check to make sure the knee is tracking in line with the middle of the foot. And once again, always squeezing your abs super tight to protect your lower back in every exercise. Awesome job. So, once again, we're gonna meet you wherever you are, you're in the right place. We've got awesome options to keep you covered, to keep you challenged, to keep your muscles guessing, and to help you create strong athletic muscle. Last one, three, two, and one. Awesome job, everybody. Bend your knees, weights down. Fire finisher number one. One minute of work. It's a high knee run with straight punches. Are you ready for it? Ready. Okay, option, no impact. Walk it out. Three, two, and one. Here we go, knees in line with the hips if you can. Now, guard up, and I want you to fight for your goals right now. That's what this is all about. Kickstarting your heart, igniting your legs, your lungs, your life. That's it. This is you making yourself a priority right now. This is why you came. No matter where you are, we got your back. Right, guys? Right. Come on, stay in it. Listen up. If you want to crank up the heat a little bit more, you can bring your knees even higher than your hips. You can add a little speed, getting after it. But guess what? You're going to get killer results with no impact and you're gonna have fun doing it, right? Yeah. All right, guys, stay in it, 20 seconds left. You should be breathing heavy. Come on, get a little uncomfortable. Woo! Nothing changes if nothing changes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last 10. Go, 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 go. <laughs> light it up, light it up. Three, two, and one. Woo! Well done. Grab a quick drink. We're moving in to your second circuit, lower body fire. Awesome job. Woo. Okay, cool. Now, that was your taste of the first workout. Now, we're getting into lower body fire. Starting off with a sumo squat, squat jump. Grab a heavy dumbbell. I've got my 15 here, feet wide, toes out. Shoulders rolled back and down. We've got one sumo squat, lowering the tailbone. Push the knees out in line with the toes, chest up, shoulders back, and then one squat jump. Option here. No jump, and you can use a little bit lighter weight. Just lift your heels. Are we ready? Yeah. 40 seconds of work in three, two, and one. Squat, rise, now squat jump. Now think about landing as soft as you can. Woo, hello. Explosive, fast twitch muscle fiber, lower body fire. Really taps into our metabolic conditioning. Bigger muscle groups, heavier weights. Bigger calorie burn, faster results. Come on, stay in it, chest up. Land soft to absorb the impact. Come on. This is all about the lower half, creating strong, lean, athletic legs and glutes. Last one, three, two.
two, and one. Woo! Awesome job. Bend your knees, weight down, pick up your medium weights. We're going into our boomerang lunges. Heels under hips to start. Chest lifted, shoulders back. One reverse lunge, little tap in, one forward lunge. Make sure you're hitting 90 degrees. All we're gonna do is repeat it. We alternate back and then forward. Option if you need a little less range of motion, a little bit lighter weight. Here we go, right leg back, three, two, and one. Boomerang lunge. Woohoo! all right. I don't know about you, but I've already got a little fire in my lungs oh, yeah. and my legs. Good. Just a little taste. You want to crank up the heat even more. Float all the way through with Dominic. So it's no tap in the middle. It's a great challenge. So the beautiful thing about interval training with weights is you can always challenge yourself. Okay? By picking up something heavier, adding a progression. Last one forward. Woo, well done. Bend your knees, weights down. One single heavy dumbbell for the final strength move in this circuit. Just an alternating lateral lunge, passing the dumbbell in between. Chest up, knee in line with the toes. Option, a little less range of motion, a little lighter weight. Are you ready? We're ready. Here we go, three, two, and one. Right leg steps out, dumbbell stops right on the inside of the bent leg. Now make sure you're really grounding yourself for stabilization, keeping your opposite leg strong and straight, pressing all four corners of your feet into the floor, and really squeezing your abs tight. Woo. Dominique is dropping beautifully into a little lower range of motion here, but she's keeping great alignment, chest is lifted, spine is straight, and I bet you anything she's smiling. She's smiling? Are you smiling? I hope so. One more on each side. Come on, finish strong. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bend your knees, weights down. Your second fire finisher. Woo! One minute of running clinch knees. You want to walk it out with Kaylee? It's here. Otherwise, add some speed. Are you ready? Ready. You ready? Three, two, and go. Here we go. Reach and pull. This move is taken from mixed martial arts. You know me, you know how much I love to kick and punch. So join me now. It's incredible core training. It's incredible for you to feel empowered and unleashed. Come on, come on, come on. Run it out. Crunching ribs to hips. Knees forward. Everything that you've got. And if you want to add a little bit of fuel to the fire, Add some speed, add a little more core crunch, and really drive the hips forward. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Go, Kiana. This is how you make the most of a 30-minute workout. That's it, you keep your heart rate up. You give it your all. Stay in it. Last 10 seconds. Fight to the finish. Here we go. The countdown. Three, two, four, and one. You did it, awesome job. Well done. But I'm not finished with you. You know that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a little more breathless. You got about 45 seconds, quick drink. We're moving into our final block, cardio fire. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Two minutes of work. Your wild card is 30 for 30. You've got two exercises. Back to back, we're gonna keep rotating them until the two minutes is up. All right, so do your best. Move number one is called a loaded launching phoenix. Feet a little wider than your shoulders. Sit down into a squat. You're gonna jump both feet in, out, one more time in, and then launch your body into the air, shooting both arms out to the side. I know, it's exciting, you're like a rocket ship. Option, just take away the impact. You can slow your pace, tap side to side. Move number two, we have a triple climber with a sting at the top. You're gonna run your knees three times and then shoot into a three-legged dog Three, two, one, and then alternate each time. You ready for it? Yeah. 30 for 30 for 30, quick transitions. Starting off with our loaded launching Phoenix. Who's ready? <laughs> we start in three, two, and one. Jump your feet, 
in, out, in, up. Chest is up. Now, just keep doing your best until I say drop, and we're gonna go into move two. That's it, core strong, chest up. You're halfway there. Your legs and lungs will be burning by the end of this. Come on, 10 seconds. You want a little more? Add a little bigger jump. Guys, we're moving back to the floor. Three, two, triple climber with a sting. Go, go, go. Run it. Three, two, one. Running the knees in toward the chest and then shooting back into our down dog. One, two, three. And then a knee. And then a sting. Option, just take your time. But I want to see a long, strong, straight spine wherever you are. Chin and eyes forward. Last three seconds. Guys, back on your toes. Back to the Phoenix. Go. In, out, in, and up. One, two, three, jump. Are you feeling this? Oh, yeah. Everything's burning. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Quads on fire. If you want more, add a little more air. Can you see that? Woo! Amazing. She's still working hard. Back to the triple climber. Three, two, run it out. Woohoo! Shoot it back. Enjoy the little stretch for your hamstrings. Make sure you're alternating. And get your hips down, okay? At any point you feel like your hips are sinking too low or they're going too high, take a modification. You just have to do your best. Give it your all. Come on, last five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Yeah, you did it. Awesome, awesome job today. Hey. How you feeling? You good? Awesome. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. Hey, cannot wait to see you for day one of Fire and Flow, but don't go anywhere yet. Elisa's got you next for a little taste of flow. Now that you are fired up, I am going to be challenging your body in a completely different but equally powerful way. I'm Elise, and my job is to help you find your flow, so feel free to kick off your shoes, get a little free as we pick up a moderate dumbbell. I'm getting a nice firm grip on an eight pound dumbbell here as I step my feet wide and exhale, getting connected to an upright sumo. Right away, we're connecting our breath to our movement as we drop the right knee, pivoting on the toes and returning to center. Now, I'd like for you to feel that breath. Inhale an awareness that your body is your own. My job is to meet you wherever you are. If you're brand new to fitness or you're an athletic expert, I'm gonna be surprising you with these innovative flows. Now let's reach the arms forward and add some shoulder mobility to those powerful hips. Exhale. I want you to find that strength in your body that maybe you weren't even aware that you have. I'm going to be bringing it out in you over these next four weeks. And then of course, there's the emotional component. Right now we're doing our signature flow rider move and I'd love for you to add some personality here. Whew, I am feeling all the muscles in my core, but my body is moving freely with no stress, no impact, just that decadent sensation of a full range of motion. Last one. Let's keep that weight. Come to stand. We're gonna kickstand the right leg and extend the arms for my signature crouching tiger. On an exhale, pull the knee in for a knee drive. Inhale, extend the arm, tap the foot. Exhale, I am elevating the deadlift by reaching your arms forward with that weight. Coming back up. Exhale, knee drive. Inhale, kickstand. I like to start us all in the modified option because alignment is key. Next level, if you wanna join me, we're gonna turn that kickstand into a one-legged deadlift. I'll always be giving you somewhere to go in every flow workout. And if you wanna intensify even more, you can practice bypassing that kickstand entirely balancing your whole way. I want you to find a version that challenges you while being compassionate 
to where you are right now. We have two more. Can you deepen and slow down the breath? And can you notice that it actually adds challenge when we slow down? It also avoids burnout. Come to stand soft in those knees. Let's take a nice halo flow as we circle that weight around our body into a twist. So mobility, we're gonna be working in rotation, hinging, twisting, pushing, pulling, all the moves that allow our body to move like the incredible symphony that it is. Let's take one more. Can you drop back into that breath? Feels good to reset and recommit. We're ready for side two of that crouching tiger. Find your kickstand, find your power. Exhale, knee drive in, inhale, extend. I will be inviting you over these four weeks to really take up your space and not just physically. I have an incredible series of moves here that will align your mental strength as well. We have a journal component. So every day you'll be able to reflect on finding balance in your life away from the mat as well. Everything we do here is practice for enjoying and elevating our lives in the real world. A little leap of faith as we hinge forward, practicing balance and stability. Reach. And it's time for functional flow. We're gonna swap out our moderate dumbbell to pick up a loop. Check it for tears and safely place it around your wrists as we step our feet wide, drop down into our upright sumo and put it right into motion here. Be sure you place resistance on that loop. In functional flow, we'll be overcoming any resistance life throws our way. And now an invitation. You add challenge not by going faster and not by adding impact, but by adding flow. Can you come a little deeper? Maybe you can join me in adding the arms. I'm gonna be teaching you to trust your body. I'm gonna be deepening your relationship with your physical body and what it's capable of. And just as exciting, I'm gonna be introducing you to a new relationship with yourself. Functional flow, all about redefining our idea of what power is. Speaking of power, we're gonna open it up to a strong warrior position as we inhale, lift up, setting our goals. Exhale, ride that breath. Slow, controlled, functional movement. Power isn't always loud. Power comes from within. Do you believe in yourself? I'll be helping you throughout this program find the confidence that you've always had. You just needed permission to reach. Now we have two more. I'm feeling the burning in my legs. In addition to flow, functional days have strong, long, steady holds to work our endurance, to overcome any challenges life brings our way. Now, one last lift up. We're gonna hold those legs and take it to a powerful lat pull down. Engage the core. So you're getting a beautiful external rotation in that front hip. Power through those legs. And I'm enticing not just the glamour muscles like the quads and the glutes, but our inner thighs, our outer hips. On flow days, I will define and shred your body muscularly so that we can feel ease, tension, and strength inside and out. And of course, always coming back to that breath, last two here. Can you come a little deeper? Woo, we're gonna stay low in the legs, lift the arms for a riptide as we really reach it through, wave it up and over to side two. Let's find that flow here. Lift up and exhale, hinge. We're getting fabulous control and mobility in the spine, strength in the legs and arms. And I'd love for you to take one breath with me where you inhale a willingness to take your practice, your body, and your life to the next level. Let's inhale that as an intention. And exhale. Whew, feeling that empowerment. Empowerment means combining strength with compassion. We have to be good to ourselves. It's a different kind of self-care. It's a self-care that comes from challenge and consistency. 
Let's lift up because that's the direction we're going. Overhead lat pull downs. Engage the core. Can you feel that the supporting arm is stabilizing? We'll be working stability, agility, mobility, flexibility, all of our abilities. And most of all, our ability to get in touch with what we want, to focus on loving ourselves as we are, even as we take that journey to finding a deeper relationship. It's so important that we embrace with gratitude the strong, healthy body we have right now, knowing our consistent choices will bring us to the next level. Woo! Straighten the legs, mindfully come down to your mat, and you'll be rounding out your fire and flow weeks with a beautiful restorative flow. Lean back. Let's take those same 90-90 knee movement patterns, but now it's in a restorative way. I want you to start to reconnect to your breath. Drop both knees to your left and sit up tall, hinging forward for a variation on pigeon stretch. Now, if you're feeling agile and you'd like to join Dominique and I, you might by the end of four weeks extend to a full pigeon. But I add my flow, it's a nice gentle body wave. Always leading with the heart, hinge forward. And exhale round through that newly mobile spine, lift and open and hinge. For the next breath, I want you to feel how incredible it is when your body flows and moves without tension, stress, or tightness. It is relief. It is the idea that our body should serve us and feel good, both while we're working out and after. Lift up and let's take it to a beautiful hip opening stretch, lifting the left arm, empowering that heart. And on the exhale, take a stretch to the side. And on the inhale, lift. And on these restorative days, I'll be inviting you to exhale out limiting beliefs. Exhale out negative self-talk. Inhale in how you want to feel and what you want to create with this beautiful life. So exhale out that inner critic. Inhale in a willingness to rise into your fullest potential. I'll be helping you get there one flow at a time. Ah, oh, this feels so good. Let's celebrate our body by lifting up to a rock star pose. So fitting. And let's find a nice current flow here as we reach forward, feel a current of positivity flow through your heart and mind. Now we're getting amazing stability in the hips and you can always follow Kaylee if flexibility and mobility are newer to you. I promise that if you're 70 with two replaced hips or you're an elite Olympian, I will be challenging you while also supporting you and inviting you to find your next level. Let's rise into that, trusting the process. Leaning back as we go side to side, it's one thing I've learned that slowing down whew, takes so much strength. Let's take the other side and again, explore the version of this stretch that feels good. Extend that back leg if it suits you and exhale, find your flow. As you round up, turn your attention inward, seeing your strength, honoring your gifts and exhale, hinge. If you press play today, that tells me that you are willing to make a commitment to yourself, a commitment to your fitness, to your wellness, to your mental health, because what good is an amazing body if we don't pair it with a powerful and open mind. Let's find all of those things together each time you come join me for flow. One more hinge forward, let go of what you think you know about fitness and rise into a brand new definition. As we come to sit, we keep our heart open, reaching up tall, reach up for a goal or an intention you have. Rise into it, open your heart to it, and remember to believe that you are capable of it. You are the creator of your experience. That is simply the truth. We're not victims of circumstance. We decide to wake up and press play. We decide to commit to a powerful, nourishing nutrition plan. We decide to make those choices every day that elevate us, strengthen our body, and contribute not only to longevity, 
but into enjoying that beautiful life that we have. Rise up, let's celebrate that as an intention as we create that current. A lot of core even here. Restorative days, all you'll need is your human body and a trust that even these restorative moves will help expand your ability for explosive movement. They will elevate your power, peak your performance. The more range of motion you have, the higher you can jump. The more stability and strength in the legs, the more you can power through those lower body strength moves. I'm here to keep you safe and replenished while also chiseling that physique that is your best body. And your best body is your own. Let's come up to sit and find a nice deep breath. I love to bring my hands to my heart as a reminder of where my true flow begins. A reminder to love yourself in this moment. Let's take a breath together. Inhale. As you breathe in that awareness, can you exhale out something you're willing to let go of to commit to starting this powerful fire and flow journey? Continue to breathe. The truth is, we all have the duality. We all are both fire and flow. And it's possible that right now, you may resonate with one style of fitness or the other. But in actuality, when we can combine both, when we can embrace our fire and also empower our flow, well, that's where the real magic happens. And that's why this program is unlike anything you've ever experienced. And I know it's the magic that will take you where you want to go. Let's inhale that together. Breathe in an awareness of all that you're capable of. Exhale, let that excitement flow through your mind, past your mouth, so you only speak positively of yourself. Let it flow through your heart and into your core where you are centered, where you are purposeful. I know Jericho and I are so excited to lead you on this very special journey. So we will see you back here soon for fire and flow.